Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my top 10 eyeshadow palettes in my eyeshadow palette collection. So I recently did my favourites of 2021 but I decided not to include my eyeshadow palettes and just do a whole separate video about them. So I have managed to narrow down about 40 or so palettes into my top 10. So my top 10 eyeshadow palettes of 2021 aren't really in any particular order. They are all my favorite 10 palettes. So I thought just for ease, I would start with the smallest palette and just work my way up to the biggest palette. So my first highlight palette of 2021 is this mini elf palette. And this is their mint to be palette. So you can see this has just got four shades in it. We've got a dark green matte, a mint green matte, and then two different shade of green shimmers. And whilst this might look like quite an unassuming palette, I have been absolutely loving this palette this year. This little palette has come away with me on so many trips, mainly because it's so small and very easy to fit in my bag, but also because I love the formula of these e.l.f. eyeshadows. And I think with two mattes and two shimmers, it's just really easy to create some simple yet you know quite pretty green eyeshadow looks with this palette it is the only mini elf palette i own so who knows maybe i will branch off and you know pick some more up in 2022 but yeah there's just something about this palette i just really love so the second eyeshadow palette of this year that has been one of my top 10 favourites has actually really surprised me. So it is this smoke palette and this is actually from Primark. So this is in their PS on the go range. And this has got six really nice shades in it as well. The palette is a bit of a mess, so <laughs> ignore that. But it really has got all the shades that you need to create a beautiful yet really easy smoky eye. And I also absolutely love the addition of this almost oil blue shimmer as well so the mattes in this are i think just ebony and smoke and they are really pigmented which really surprised me again with this being a palette just from primark and i think it literally costs like two pounds and then the shimmers themselves are really really bright and vivid they're really easy shades to work with so the palette is a bit of a mess but when it comes to actual fallout when applying it to your eye there's really little to none and yeah I just love how pigmented the mattes are and how bright and buttery and shimmery all of those metallics are and yeah I just like that you create quite a dark smoky look but equally quite a nice light smoky look as well so the next eyeshadow palette in my top 10 is the Beauty Bay Pastels palette so this is definitely the perfect palette coming up this time of year and coming into the spring it has got eight really really gorgeous pastel shades in and i was a bit concerned when i first picked up this palette that these pastels were going to be a bit chalky i wasn't going to get you know the color payoff that i wanted as you would kind of expect a pastel to be a bit more muted than an ordinary brighter matte shade but i have to say these are so pigmented they are really easy to blend. The colours are just very seamless and they're really easy shades to work with. So I absolutely love this palette. It's my only palette I own that is just all pastel shades. And as I said, this is definitely a perfect palette coming into the spring. I'll tell you what as well, some of these shadows look really great with a white eyeliner in the waterline. That's definitely been my favorite look to do with the shades in this palette again it's just quite a nice small little palette it does have the added bonus of a mirror in which is also really great and yeah you can probably see why this has made my top 10 and then moving on to the next palette in my top 10 and this time it is the bh cosmetics trendy in tokyo palette so first of all i absolutely love the outside packaging of this it's very eye-catching i love the Kind of laid writing over the scene of Tokyo. I just think that it's really interesting and I know that the other palettes in this range obviously are similar with their location. So this is the first and I think only BH Cosmetics palette that I own but I absolutely 
love it so in the side again we're continuing with the japanese theme with the cherry blossom and everything and then moving on to the 16 really really pretty shades so this has got a few nice pastels in um but obviously it has got some other shades in which is why i've popped this in the top 10 as well the shimmers are really lovely i especially love actually this green shimmer here it's really really pretty and you've pretty much got all the shades of the rainbow here and a really lovely mixture of mattes and shimmers i really do love the formula of this palette i can't really speak for any other bh cosmetics palettes because this is the only one that i own but i really do love this one i think it's such a nice pretty color story and again you could create pretty much any colorful look that you wanted to with this palette so the next palette in my top 10 is actually i think my newest eyeshadow palette and it is the mauves by juvia's place and love the packaging quite simple yet also quite striking and eye-catching at the same time and i like this embossed gold text as well on the uni carton and this one has got six really gorgeous pinky purpley mauve shades so this is definitely my favorite shade in the palette it's almost like an intergalactic purple sort of pinky metallic i don't really know how to explain it i love the formula i had been wanting to try juvia's place for the longest time so when i got this palette i was so so happy and i just have really loved it ever since i've used it so many times already even though it's the newest eyeshadow palette that i do own i just think it's so pretty the packaging is just so different to any other palettes that i own and i just think it's just really gorgeous a really gorgeous movie color story which you can actually create some really quite different looks with and then on to the next palette and i feel like the rest of them have quite a similar theme which you'll probably pick up on when I show you. So the next palette that's made it to my top 10 is this one here. And this is the We Were On A Break palette from the Friends Makeup Revolution collaboration. And this is obviously their Forever Flawless range in the metal tin. So I really, really love the Forever Flawless palettes. I do own the Fire and the Ice palette, and I just think they're absolutely amazing. So when they brought out this one, I thought, yeah, I'm gonna have to give that a go. First of all, it's Friends really really love friends love the packaging this bit here it's like raised so you can like feel it which is pretty cool and it's got a good size mirror in like all of their palettes like this and then it has got all of these really stunning shades so some really different shades than i've got in other palettes some really nice teals we've got a really lovely orange shimmer the yellow I just really love the mixture of the mattes and the shimmers in here. And I also like as well that the stamp in the pan is the actual mirror as well. I think that's just a really cool added touch. And I knew I loved the formula of the Forever Flawless palettes from Revolution. So I kind of hoped that I would love this one as well. And I really do. The reason this one's made it into my top 10 over my other two Forever Flawless palettes is just the variety of shades in this one. I think I've created a rainbow look with this. It definitely came away with me on a trip last summer because I thought I needed a good size palette that wasn't too big, but had a real good range of shades in. So yes, I absolutely love this one. So next up in my top 10, and I feel like this palette could probably feature in quite a lot of people's top 10s, but it is the ColourPop Fade Into Hue palette. So I love the ombre packaging i think it's really funky i like the embossed text i like that you've got the shade names on the outside of the uni carton as well obviously the packaging is the same on the palette and you've got the shade names on the back again which is all embossed also so just opening this one up and i mean that's pretty outstanding. Those glitters are so sparkly. You can even see the matte shades with the glitter shift just sparkling there on the camera. And you've obviously got every single shade of the rainbow here to create any amount of fun and bright looks that you want. I do love 
a bit of glitter and sparkle as you can probably tell by today's makeup so that is why this one is featured in my top 10 palettes in fact i was kind of lusting after this palette for so long that this is what made me do my first ever ColourPop order and i definitely have not been disappointed i love the formula the shades are so easy to work with the shimmers are shimmery and buttery the glitters i personally love i know a lot of people aren't a fan of a pressed glitter but i really do love them and the mattes are super pigmented and blendable and what i will say as well is that even these yellows which it can sometimes be quite hard to find like a decent yellow shade they are actually really pigmented and all of the shades are so varied so yeah i think maybe if anything this is probably at the higher end of my top 10 palettes so just three palettes left in my top 10 and the next one is another quite recent purchase i picked this one up actually in the black friday sales and it is the jeffree star jawbreaker palette so i love the packaging i think i'm definitely a bit of a sucker for a funky packaging i love that this looks like its namesake a jawbreaker and i love the metallic writing here as well so just opening up this one and again the palette just looks like the inside of a jawbreaker this time this has got so many amazing shades in i mean they are so pretty i I'd say I love the colour story of this palette, but there doesn't really seem to be a story. It's just a bit of everything, which I quite like. I like this eclectic mix of pastels, really deep shades, very metallic shades. I just think this is an amazing palette. I really love the formula of the Jeffree Star palettes and I own a few, but I think this one has probably got the most varied shades in, which is why it's made it to my top 10 palettes. I've used this so many times since, even though it is one of my newer palettes. And I have to say, I really just love every single shade in it. Even some of these more neutrals just make for a really great base for some of the other bright metallics. So definitely getting kind of bigger and bigger palettes as we get towards the end. But my next palette in my top 10 is the Painters palette from Sample Beauty. So it's got this really different uni carton that, in that it just slides out and then the palette itself is the same as the uni carton obviously it's supposed to look like paint as per the palette's name and this time we have got these really gorgeous shades so there's a lot of more neutrals in this one as well as a really lovely mix of some really bright shades and this palette is definitely heavy on the mattes. It has only got a few shimmers in, but I have to say that that gold and that silver are both absolutely stunning. They are so buttery and rich and just bright and vivid and just a really good topper, I think, to go with a lot of these shades. I've had such good use out of this palette. I really do like their formulas. I found the shades really easy to work with really easy to blend, they're long lasting, I don't get a lot of fallout and I think there's a really nice range in this one of some more neutral tones and some much brighter tones so you can pretty much again create any look that you want to. So last but by no means least is the final palette in my top 10 eyeshadow palettes of my collection. So it is the Beauty Bay Bright Palette. So this has got, as you can see here, 42 shades and so this palette is absolutely massive if you haven't seen it or don't own it it has got a humongous mirror in this whole top bit is a mirror and then it has got all of these amazing shades so this is the one that has got the mixture of the mattes and the shimmers in as you can see just shimmering away on the camera and i think i have actually used every single shade in this palette i did a series last year of doing like different pink looks and orange and red and i went through all the shades of the palette and created loads of looks so if you're interested in seeing those then definitely check those out but i think this is just a real staple palette to have in my collection it's got every shade i could need it's got lots and lots of shimmers and it's also got this nice row at the top here of some nice 
neutral. So you can even do a nice smoky eye with this really bright palette. So the only downside is that it is pretty big. So I don't tend to like take it away with me. I'll always just use it at home. But having said that, it is such an amazing palette. I think it's pretty much always on offer on Beauty Bay as well. So if you don't own this palette, I definitely recommend checking it out. I say I don't think anyone's ever paid full price for it, but it is worth every single penny. And I really like the Beauty Bay formula. It's quite different to the pastels. Obviously there's no pastel shades in this palette, but I just really, really love this one. And it's just, yeah, such a versatile, amazing palette. So that was my top 10 eyeshadow palettes in my eyeshadow palette collection. And it was pretty hard to narrow down my collection to just 10 favorite palettes. I think there was quite a good variety of brands there, quite a good variety of color stories. And obviously I love all of my palettes, but they are definitely my top 10. So definitely let me know if you have any of these palettes and what you think of them, or if you've got any other palettes that are your favorite, then let me know as well. I would really love to know. So as always, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give the video a big thumbs up, leave me a comment. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and I'll see you again in my next video.